guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very special video because I am emotional. I made this realization a couple days ago. Um, I am about to graduate college on December 17th with a Bachelor's of Communications and so I've been making a lot of realizations and it's also the time of year where my anniversary of Taylor Swift sending me Christmas presents comes up. Taylor Swift sent me Christmas presents on December 5th 2014 and you're probably thinking what is this girl talking about what fan fiction did she just write in her head but it is my reality so in 2014 for anybody who's new here um i was one of the christmas girls that taylor swift picked to give presents to there was about 32 33 people that she picked from online that she found and that she chose to give christmas presents to now i do want to tell you guys i will be posting a video showing you all of my christmas presents from taylor i have never done this on this channel and I am so entirely excited. I've done a story time, but I want to tell you guys the story of every single present and what she wrote, and I want to show it to you physically. They are all kept very safe, which leads me to this. So, in this video, I am telling you about the most special present that she got me, and one that I will literally cry about forever. So, okay. The other day, Taylor Swift her team, Taylor Nation, did a little party on Twitter and on their socials called Make the Friendship Bracelet. And I was like, you know what? Like, that's so creative. Like, I love that, you know, because you're on your own kid. And you're on your own kid has meant a lot to me because I am about to graduate college. It's scary. And you're like, you're being thrown into the real world. And like, you can face this though. Like, the way Taylor says you can face this in the song. Anyways. There's a line in the song that says, make the friendship bracelets, take the moment and taste it, you've got no reason to be afraid. You're on your own, kid. Yeah, you can face this. Okay. That will literally bring tears to my eyes. So, I was thinking a lot about that. I was like, oh my gosh, like, it's so cute, like, that Taylor made the bejeweled bracelet. Every single one of the jewels signifies an album of hers. And so I was thinking about that a lot. And then I was thinking about how Taylor, when she grabbed my hand at Barricade in Arlington, I was wearing two bracelets um, that my best friend had made me. One said Taylor and one said Buddy. And I was like, oh, like a friendship bracelet because my best friend made it, you know. And then Taylor, she grabbed my hand while I was wearing them. That's emotional. And then I just started thinking because when do I not think about Taylor giving me Christmas presents? Um, I just started thinking about it. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so let me rewind a little bit. So in 2014, if you don't know the backstory, Taylor Swift picked about 32 to 33 fans, like I said, to send Christmas presents to. She followed me on Tumblr after 1989 was released, and after that, she stalked the heck out of me. And when I mean that, she would like post um, from like hours and hours before that I didn't even tag her in, just straight from my page and like 20 posts at a time. Literally, that was what Tay Lurking was all about. So, in November, Taylor's team reached out to me and said, Hey, we see you're a great fan. And P.S. that same night, Taylor had liked one of my posts. And it was like five minutes after that that I got this message. Hey, we see you're a great fan. Can we have your address? And I was like, yes, here's my address. So, Taylor continued to stalk me for about two weeks. Then, two weeks later, I got a message saying, Hey... Um, are you going to be home at 8.30 in the morning? There's a package coming that needs to be signed for. Um, and I was a minor at the time, so I had to have somebody over the age of 18. And so I begged my parents to let me skip first and second period in high school. They let me because I had A's and one of them was a study hall, so it really didn't matter to me anyways. Um, so I've always been very on top of my schoolwork and my parents know that. So, you know, they were like, it's special. I had a feeling because I had seen this happen to other people in the stories and I was like, oh my god, this is kind of lining up. <sighs> Next morning, I got presents from Taylor Swift and there were a ton of presents in there from London, the Victoria's Secret fashion show when she was in LA for the AMAs in 2014. Just incredible stuff that she picked out for me um, and she truly, truly paid attention to my blog. And so... This is where this comes into play. This is not clickbait. Taylor Swift literally did make me a friendship bracelet. That sounds fake. 
I understand that. You're probably clicking on this. You probably just saw this on your YouTube, like, suggested or whatever, and you're probably like, what is this girl talking about? Trust me, I would not make this up because it's so meaningful to me that, like, <laughs> I couldn't make this up if I tried, and I would only want to say it if it was true. So, it's true. Okay, so, um, Taylor Swift. <clears throat> One of the posts that she liked when she was spamming me a lot, I posted something along the lines of, I know Taylor is noticing a lot of fans, like, I'm really excited about that, but I hope she never forgets me. Like, um, I just hope that Taylor never forgets me, something like that, or never forgets how much I love her, something along those lines. <laughs> Girlie said, oh Rachel, buckle up, I'm gonna make sure that you never forget. <sighs> so, there was this little box in the box, in the bigger box. <laughs> And, um, I'm doing a separate video on this just because it's so special to me and I did make this connection, um, and I was like, I need to just sit down and ramble about this. So, there's this little box. It was wrapped. It's not wrapped anymore, but it's by Monica Venator, and it's a friendship bracelet. It's a rose gold friendship bracelet. I have it on because I took graduation pictures this morning. And this is how I concluded that she, in fact, did make me a friendship bracelet because I keep this in very safe keeping in my room um, because I do have pets and I was like, you know what, mm -mm, there's no way that they're getting to any of my presents from Taylor. So it's in very safe keeping in my room, so I only pull it out during very special occasions and graduation pictures are pretty special, so I wore it. Um, that's my vigil bracelet, but it says Taylor loves Rachel on it. And it is just this rose gold bracelet. It ties. And I opened it this morning, put it on. And then I thought I remembered this because when Taylor sent them to me, um, I was investigating presents, you know, just like, oh my gosh, like, where'd she get it from? Like, what city? Like, you know, if she didn't specify whatever. I was just curiosity got the cat. Um, I was a cat. Um, <laughs> so I looked at the pamphlet this morning. And it says Monica Venator, um, friendship color code. And then on the back it says, make it meaningful. And then it has the website. And then on the inside, it says, find your meaning. And it says, every colored bracelet in our friendship range has a meaning, find yours, and choose one for a friend. Rose gold, which this is rose gold, uh, means harmony. And it's a friendship bracelet. Like, Taylor Swift literally made me a friendship bracelet. And the, ta and the tag said, Rachel, so you never forget. So, I will cry about that for the rest of my life. Um, every time, like, I tell people about presents and they're like, oh my god, like, what'd she get you? And then, like, I tell them about the bracelet, like, every single time without fail, like, tears are formed in people's eye sockets. And, yeah, yeah, like, me too. Um, I couldn't stop thinking about this if I tried because for you to say to a pop star who has so many fans, like, oh my gosh, like, I love you. Like, I hope you never forget me. <laughs> like, you know, like, that's wild, right? And then for her to say it back and get me a bracelet engraved. Is my cat in my closet? <gasps> Jasmine! Oh my god. I didn't even know you were in there. Get out. Get out. Get. I was reorganizing like all my hoodies and stuff. Um, and she somehow got in my closet. Jasmine, get out. Okay, well, she's just gonna have to get out on her own, but uh, sorry for that. But yeah, so it's it's really special because Taylor really said, I'm, I'm going to make sure that she never forgets. Now she got out. Um, <laughs> um, so she wrote on the tag, Rachel, so you never forget. And that's crazy to me because I never have. And I'll never forget how special I felt in that moment and how special I continue to feel because of this. And this is not to brag. I literally just want to spread and shout from the rooftops how sweet Taylor Swift is and how much she freaking loves her fans. Um, I, I will never be able to say thank you enough for what she did for me, like, ever. Um, <laughs> she's been there since I was in elementary school and getting bullied 
and in middle school, I was bullied for loving her. And now I'm in college and celebrating her as I always have, but I continue to celebrate her. And um, it, it's just wild how much and how long I've loved Taylor. You know, friends come and go and things happen, things change in your life, but Taylor has always been such a constant. And this just, this is so entirely special to me, you guys. Like, I will, I will never be. But yeah, you guys, I really just wanted to share that with you guys. It was a connection I made, and now you're on your own, kid, will continue to make me even more emotional. So, yeah. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was a lot of rambling, but I just honestly wanted to sit down and share this with you guys. It was so special to me that I couldn't pass it up. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. I hope this video entertained you in some way and stay tuned for the video where I show you every single one of her presents. <sighs> That's incredible, but I love you guys. I hope this video entertained you in some way and I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye guys.